Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of What If Wednesday. Megan, how are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Okay. Wind this down. Yeah. What If Wednesday. We haven't had a good dose of, of what if recently. So let's, uh, let's get this underway. I want to do, I, I have an idea what I'm going to be what ifing because we do have this event that we're putting on, uh, not the Mother's Day week, but the following week. So that's uh, May 14th. It's coming up now. We are still in limbo if we're going to be doing it in person because we have a, a room currently planned to be uh, booked or utilized at the Clairview Rec Center. But, um, you know, uh, as we talked about, I'm, I'm, I may as well say the, the story. We, I, we, I did some postering <laughs> there yesterday and then the posters got pulled down, even though like I got the approval from the folks that work there. But apparently it's got to go through the city or something like that. I, I mean, I, yeah, so they took the posters down. So now like nobody knows about the event again, in, unless people are hearing this, but uh, you know, we have, we still have over a week to get the word out. So, and we rented a room that's got, you could easily get anywhere for, they say 10 people, but I, you could get like a good, you know, 14, 16 people in there. And honestly, okay, now I'm getting into my content of what I'm going to, what if, so that's, Okay. That's that, that's my that's where my brain is going with this. Do you have sort of an idea of what you're going to be? What if he? No. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, anybody that's joining us for the first time, the what ifing is the uh, the what ifing the positive positive things, the positive case scenario, as opposed to the usual brain trick of what ifing the worst case scenario, which the brain seems to love to do. And I think it's just sort of mm -hmm. the way that we're wired. So we're uh, intentionally practicing the other side of it. So what if in the good stuff basically is the idea here. So, mm -hmm. and we just trade off on it. So I will go first because you just uh, essentially said that you weren't quite ready to go. So I will give you that extra 15 seconds while I get started here. <laughs> so I am going to, what if the following? So what if we get, by the time we're finished the show, We've got approval for the posters. And in fact, they put them up exactly where they found them. And I don't even have to go back in there. What if they do that for us? Perfect. What if it's so full that we're allowed to have this like in-person event, but then we still funnel it over into an online event? I would love that. Oh, I like that a lot. So yeah, what if we have our, I'm going to just, just continue on that track. What if we have, yeah, our first ever in-person slash online hybrid event wicked love it mm -hmm. um what if you and i get a bunch of potential long-term clients from it absolutely absolutely what if i have um a like a whole program idea that i wanted to run by you for your uh um like is it niche your genre of coaching so and then what if this is like the beginnings of that yeah, that's funny. I was just going to say, what if from this, I'm able to develop like a maybe four or five week course that, that people can enroll in and continue their learnings? Totally. Yeah. And then, yeah, what if this is like the first of, um, you know, like it becomes like a monthly thing that we just do like a monthly or every six week uh, in-person event at all. Like we tour the rec centers of Edmonton, maybe even down, like, you know, now we're getting, that'll be my next one. What if, what if I was just going to say, what if we're able to like expand it to cross the province and we yeah. just, we keep, we go on a road show, you and I together. Yes, exactly. So you start doing like the Calgary rec centers. Cause as soon as we figure out the formula, what if it just, and then what if the word gets out, what if they start phoning us going, Hey, can you come do one of those events? And we're like, well, you know, we're kind of booked right now. Thanks. No, yeah. And it is a free event. So what if it turns into something that we're able to charge a small fee for? Yes. Make some money. Yeah. So what if, well, okay. So how can I, what if into this, uh, there was the, the form men asks if, uh, if it's like a nonprofit or what the, uh, the, the thing is. So what if we're just completely transparent about it? We are like, we're like, we're looking to add value to people's lives, but at the same token, we're also like in it for business. And they're like, yes, that's perfectly fine. And they continue to allow us to do it anyways. Absolutely. What if we meet some moms that are really like down in the trenches in their motherhood journey, and this completely lifts them up and shifts their, their experience for them? Yeah, totally. And what if uh, this leads to like future speaking engagements? So not even just like 
live coaching seminars, but actually getting uh, booked booked in like schools or whatever it may be like, uh, you know, for like, yeah, picture you doing like a, you know, Mel Robson, Robbins-esque speech in front of like 500 people in like a high school with all the moms <laughs> present and all that. And you just, yeah. What if that happens? Yeah, totally. <clears throat> what if we're able to like expand it into just parenthood in general, not just moms, dads yeah. too? There and we that- go. There we go. Yeah. You know, I like that. I like that. Cause initially, so what if my first, what if is I'm trying to get together a, so what if I get my first group of five guys, I have a men's group that I'm putting together for, uh, to run my sobriety program. Mm-hmm. So on the same vein, what if I can then get the five, like a, a woman's group together? And then what if that leads to like being able to do couples? So then you're getting like two clients at one and the dynamics of uh, sobriety in a couple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a great idea. And what if like word gets out and we're able to bring in some type of other expert to speak with us, whether that's on like trauma releasing exercises or like how to incorporate movement for your health or just something to add into it more value. Totally. Well, I know a lot of, uh, so what if, yeah, what if I have Jeff is a uh, yoga instructor. So, and he's a good friend. I just joined his program. So he, uh, so what if, what if he becomes, yeah, exactly. Somebody like that and oh yeah there's like the uh the lady i just what if the lady i just interviewed earlier today who's a hypnotherapist is able to do like remote uh joining as well so yeah getting some of the those folks involved i like it kind of like a festival it's like the woodstock of like coaching Uh -uh. though without the drugs (laughs) yeah obviously with the drugs it's fine (laughs) yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) to each their own yeah oh gosh yeah and what if it's just like an awesome weekend, beautiful weather, mm. traffic, everything works out. Everybody wants to drive over to the rec center. It's like busting up the seams. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And so, and I saw where the room is and it happens to be right across from like the coffee shop that's in there. So it's like nice. right in the middle Prime of like room. a yeah, pr- bunch of stuff going on. And it's not too far away from like the children area where they drop off kids for like daycare. So what if, yeah, what if it's just like, there's so much walk-in traffic, they see that it, the event is full to this brim of the seams. And they're like, well, when's the next one? Like, well, yeah. Well, for 10 bucks, I'll tell you. No, it's good. Yeah. Hey, cut that part. And then what if the coffee shop just like sponsors us and gives us free Ooh. coffee and goodies for everybody? Totally. Yeah. They bring over like a plate of Danishes. What if they bring over four blueberry, four raspberry, two apple and two lemon Danish. Nice. Nice. Unlimited coffee. Yeah. Oh yeah. Every mom will appreciate that. I would think so. I would think so (laughs) for sure. Our presentations will will gradually speed up as we like slam. Yeah, they're just like, I don't know what you're offering, but I heard free coffee. So I came into this. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then we're both just like, uh, what if we're just both like speaking like auctioneers? So, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I didn't catch any of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me write it up on the whiteboard. And that's like, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So there we go. I think that's a, you get, everybody gets the idea of what ifs. Now I feel better. I've gotten that, yep. uh, that um, somewhat defeated energy. I was defeated. It was like the wind out of the sails though, a little bit. It was like, oh, yeah, right? I can get that. And it seems a little bit, like I understand, but like, it seems a little bit silly. Like, did you have to take the posters down? Like at least just go, Hey, next time do this. I know you got approved. This is what yeah. you have to fill out. Can you fill it out now? And we'll leave them. Like anyways. somebody was not practicing. What if Wednesday, but that guy should have been like, what if these people just made an honest mistake and yeah. they did ask somebody. So this is totally legit. Right. Assume that exactly. Instead of assuming Ooh, like that, best, right? that Instead of yeah. assuming the worst that I like snuck in there with like, like Bella clav <laughs> on. And it's just like, yeah, just like, yeah. My own thumbtacks. I might add. <laughs> Ah, uh, there we go. So that's the what if Wednesday. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening. We are going to do, you know what? We still have um, I think it was part two of your third act Thursday, because we only did half of it, your story last oh. time. So are you willing to do uh do you I I don't even really remember where we left off? Neither do I. We okay. probably have to listen to it back and then pick it up. <laughs> yeah, right. I wonder if I could easily bring it up. Yeah, I probably could. Okay. Um, what I'll do is before we get into the next episode, I'll send you the link to the podcast and then just flip off to like the end and kind of see where we left off. 
and then it'll just, it'll take like an extra 30 seconds i'll just send you the link for the podcast and then we can do part two okay. sounds good okay thanks everybody we'll see you tomorrow for third act thursday part two of megan's story okay see ya bye